the virtual system has completely revolutionized the way we treat, uh, we teach radiation therapy here at MD Anderson because it gives us a direct hands-on environment. It also allows us to do a lot of things that we can't do in the clinic, like look inside the patient. We've got re graphical representations of the patient's organs, and we can see where the radiation is going on those patient's organs. We can see um, where the beam is hitting inside the patient that, of course, we can't do in the clinic. And it gives a, it, it really gives our students a solid foundation of information um, of what they're actually doing while they're in the clinical environment. You get to see more than you see in the clinic because in the you don't get to see what you're treating inside a patient. Uh, here you can zoom in and you can see how the beam is going through the tumor, what critical structure besides it is being um, uh, exposed to radiation, uh, how much dose. Um, stuff like that, of course, you're not going to be able to get to see when you're treating a real patient. I think the greatest thing is that it's just like uh, an actual linear accelerator. You have a patient, you could switch out which patient you want, um, you could switch out which areas you want to treat. Uh, it just gives you a bunch of options. I think that's the greatest thing. Although we only use the virtual um, system for educational purposes, if I had my way, we would probably have weekly movie night and we would probably be watching Avatar and um, all the 3D movies um, on our wonderful screen and we'd have a good time. If I could do anything with the virtual system, I would definitely bring uh, probably a Wii or Xbox 360 in here and play with it. If I could do anything on the machine, I'd probably watch um, Real Housewives of Orange County.